Welcome to another episode of Raw Therapy Video Tutorials. Today we will edit a picture taken from a trip to Amsterdam. Although the conditions were ideal, in the middle of the day and with plenty of light, the final result was not optimal. When opening the picture, we can see at the center there is an overexposed area. This happens because raw therapy cannot correctly calculate the values for exposure. The sky is also too bright and not as blue as we would like. The first thing to do when opening the picture is to fix the exposure. First, we reset the exposure by pressing the reset the curve to linear in the tone curve. Next we press the auto levels button. We reduce the exposure slightly to minus 0.32. Then, we increase the highlight compression threshold to around 120. We ensure that the checkbox for highlight recovery is enabled. Raw therapy supports four ways of highlight reconstruction. Luminance recovery that recovers the highlights in natural gray. Color propagation that works well if the highlight compression is less than 500. The CIE lab that first reduces the luminance channel and tries to restore color. Finally the blend uses the color of nearby regions. In our case the color propagation has the best results. Next, if we zoom to the windows on the right, we will notice purple fringes on the edges. To fix this we enable the defringe tool, in the details tab. There are two different curve types to apply the tool. Linear and hue. We select hue, and only the colors we want to remove from the edges. In the detail tab, we can also enable the contrast by details to increase sharpness. We only need to slightly increase the sharpness, so we increase only slightly the bars. Our next stop is the color tab. The first thing we can change is the white balance. We increase the temperature slightly. We do not want to touch any more settings in the color tab, because the picture is close enough to what we expect. We will not touch the advanced tab now. In the future, we can enable retinix and by selecting the process, unsharp mask, we improve the overall contrast. Our next stop is the transform tab. First we go to the perspective tab and we move the vertical bar to the right. In this picture a value around 7 is enough. Next we have to press the automatic button in the distortion correction section. In the raw tab we must ensure that the demosaicine algorithm is a maze. And the auto correction is checked in the chromatic aberration correction section. Our photo is now ready to be exported. You can export by either pressing Ctrl plus S or place it in the queue to process it later from the Q tab. 